Heroes Reborn review. Um, now, the first two episodes pretty much came out back to back uh, at the, in the event. I believe it was last Thursday night. So, I'm uh, just gonna quite kind of give you a little bit of review about what went on and it, is it worth watching. So, the show picks up a couple years after the previous show left off. I think, if I remember correctly, now I was a fan of the show and I did watch pretty much the whole thing through, especially when it all hit Netflix. Um, but I believe Siler and there's a carnival and all the Evos. That's what they're calling them now. They're pretty much mutants, but everybody's calling them Evos. They come together Evos. and they're trying to make this like happy society where they can all live in peace, you know, from the normal people. And the evil corporation that's hunting them down has kind of ceased. So it starts off and there's supposed to be this big summit at the evil corporation's headquarters. Sounds like a good idea, right? Because they changed all of a sudden. They no longer want to hunt. They should and kill call it them. Evil Corp. I mean, just <laughs> because <laughs> I would, I would find it. it it's called Prime Attack. So uh, yeah, but uh, yeah. So then there's this huge explosion. A lot of people die, and then it really catapults you forward about a year. Everybody's after these people. They call the Evos, pretty much the mutants. If yeah, pretty much mutants, and they start showing you some new heroes, and they they kick the story off that way. If you remember the first show, it's a bunch of people develop these powers around the world and then they all come together to kind of save the world in the first season and if you watch the show and you really appreciated the show first season was the season to watch that was where it all came together perfectly and then when they tried to keep it going didn't quite have the same oomph to it because the original vision for the show was to have every season a new group of people coming together to help save the world and when they kept the same characters over and over Got a little bland. So we're about to see it, though, with this group of characters. Now, I'll just run over a couple of the characters. Now, we, of course, the one big main returning character is Noah Bennett. He is the guy who at first was the one tracking them all down and then kind of helped them all come together. And his daughter was Claire, the cheerleader who could regenerate. We all know Hayden Penetier. That's what launched her career was that one right there. So um, he's back. He's not quite sure what's going on, but it looks like he's going to be the protagonist for this this series, the at least the main one, and he's going to help kind of bring everybody together and fight this new incoming evil that they're keep hinting at in the show so far. And then we have two bounty hunters, not bounty hunters, evil hunters, really, that just seem to want to go around and kill all the evil people that they can find. Makes That's sense. That's what they want to do. Well, one of them says that he lost his wife and son in the blast, so now he blames them all and wants to kill them. Yeah. It a, that, that's a good idea. Because he lost his wife and son in the blast that created them? No, the blast didn't create them. What the, it was what a the, summit between the Evos and the humans for oh, peace. Okay. And then there was an explosion. Wow. Thanks I for listening to what's been going on. I was listening. <laughs> yeah. You didn't mention um, the blast so, before. So you have those two guys, and uh, Zachary Levi actually plays one of the bounty hunters, and they just like to kill people. Then you have a high school kid who can just transport things by touching them. And he doesn't quite know where he's transporting them first, and then he kind of starts figuring it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, and then you have um, a Japanese video game girl. So whenever she unsheaths a special sword, she gets transported to a special video game world where she has to save her father, who disappeared in real life. Every time? And this other like, video game Is that guy. like the video game is save her father? It's like Yeah, <laughs> I guess. And then, then, then there's this other guy who is that really, is really good at the game power. and helps her. Yeah, so that that's it's a very interesting power, that's for sure. But <laughs> there is a part where she comes back into the real world and fights just like she does in the fake world. So it's interesting, I guess. Um, then we have uh, a war hero who's a masked vigilante. So that was interesting. He's like a luchador. And okay. he runs around the streets and helps... Like, has an underground railroad to bring other people through. So that's pretty cool. And then you have a gambling guy who's tele, uh, what is it, telekinesis, where he can move objects. Move, yeah, telekinetic. And he's not a nice guy. He works for the bad guys. So, yeah. Yeah, so. Is it because of those his, gambling the his gambling yeah, does well, mean work. A little bit. But those are the main characters of the show. And, and overall, it works. It works very well. They all come to, they haven't come together yet, but they're setting up each of these individual characters. Uh, granted, they all have a, a very interesting variety of powers, but it's going to be s cool to see how they come back together, just like in the first season of the show, when they all were separate and came across the country 
slash the world to come together. So it'll be cool to watch that. I do really enjoy the show. I'm going to keep watching it. Um, yeah. I don't know, Brennan, what do you have to add? I'm excited <laughs> to finally maybe see the show, but I probably won't, to be okay, honest. Okay, he hasn't seen it, yeah. Um, but yeah, and the show, if you are a fan of the original series, then there are plenty of nods towards that. It all takes place in the same universe just a couple of years after. So they do mention some of the events and you do see some of the familiar characters. So overall, I give this show a 4.5 and I will be continually watching the show throughout the year. I, I don't think it's going to be a very long event, like 10, 15 episodes. Maybe it's just technically a miniseries, I believe. But it, it's going to be fun to watch. So, Awesome. Yeah, so this is know, did you watch the first episode? Were you entertained? Mm. So hit us up. Let us know. Comments down below. Of course, at my face on Twitter. Google Plus and Facebook. Always good ways getting a hold of us.